Hi and welcome to the Geek League. Do you know, Jim, this is a historical movie review and I'll be having a look at The Crusaders, The Fall of Jerusalem. Now, this originally is actually an Italian production and was actually produced as a mini-series. And what they've actually done here is it's been kind of split into two and then marketed as two films, ultimately. However, I didn't realise that whilst I was watching it, first of all, and I kind of didn't realise this actually was a, was kind of um, like a part one of two. So, and it doesn't know where in the box it says that. So, well, I kind of watched this film and it just ends really abruptly. So, if you are going to watch this version of, of the Crusaders, be aware that this is actually only part one of, of, of two, and it really, it really kind of leaves you hanging if you are unaware that there is actually a part two. And it doesn't even say, you know, on the on the affinities, which I thought was quite funny. So, anyway, um, what's the actual movie about? So, basically, it's uh, it's... Obviously, sort of set during the kind of time of the Crusades. I think it's um, around ten sixteen, something like that. And it really focuses on three individuals. I guess the main guy is Peter, and he is the the son of a kind of Saracen warrior and a Christian woman. But he's brought up by kind of um, basically a village of, of Christians. Of it, you know, everyone kind of uh, kind of picks on him, so to speak, because they know he's. He sort of comes from the, the enemy's bloodline, so to speak. And he's kind of got this uh, friend, or adopted brother almost, called Andrew. And, and he's kind of, again, he's just like a, a shepherd or something like that. There's also the third uh, uh, the third guy is Richard, who's actually the son of a, a, a nobleman that kind of gets murdered in the kind of the, kind of the, the first part of this movie. And, you know, he sort of swears revenge. And basically the three of these guys kind of end up bonding and decide that they're going to go uh, to the Crusades to sort of fight uh, in the Holy Land because they all have their kind of individual paths ultimately. Uh, so yeah, the main focus is certainly in the first half of this this particular movie is on Peter and his kind of his love with this Maria who's actually uh, Andrew's sister and uh, it's kind of like a forbidden love and, and all that so it kind of links in with, with all these sort of three guys Anyway, and uh, the first sort of half of, of this movie is really this an introduction to the characters and there's sort of a bit about their backstory. And then the sort of second half of, of this particular film is them kind of going to the Holy Land and, and really getting kind of manipulated by uh, the, the sort of powers that be there and kind of originally having kind of set them in the wrong path, so to speak, uh, and them kind of realising it ultimately and kind of, sort of trying to sort of regain their faith to do the right thing. And that's where the movie ends. So the, the, I guess the kind of the culmination and the climax of everything will happen in part two, as I haven't actually seen, I have to say. So, okay, despite the fact that this movie is only only half of, of obviously a film, which is kind of a bit of a, a, an annoying thing anyway, um, what's it actually like? Well, I have to say it's an Italian production and it's it looks fantastic, I have to say. It's obviously not a massive budget, but I think the production design and what they've done, the locations look really, really fantastic. There's some, there's some beautiful um, sort of locations here, uh, and the kind of the, the the kind of the battles, even though they're not sort of giant epic epic scale battles, look really good, and they have some uh, you know some great sort of uh, scenery to, to look at as well, and you know the kind of all it all seems very authentic, and the sort of costumes and everything. The one major issue I have here is the is the dialogue and the way it's delivered. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I got a thing this was actually shot in English language. But when you're watching it, it's, it, it comes very uh, obvious that the dialogue is, is quite horrible. Now, I think it's actually been overdubbed. Um, now, it kind of it matches with the, obviously the lip sync and stuff like that. That's why I'm saying it's, it, kind of, it must, must have been shot in English. Now, I'm really hoping it has been overdubbed, because if it hasn't, it really is probably even worse. But the way the actual, the, the, the dialogue sounds is is awful, absolutely awful. And it just, it sounds so unnatural. And to be fair, what they actually say also is kind of, um, you know, again, it just, it's quite horrible, the actual script about what they actually say. Now, I, I'm not sure this, because this is an Italian production, but it's a kind of being spoken in English, some some of the kind of dialogue is very stilted because of that. But 
it, it's almost cringe worthy sometimes. And especially, it's not so bad when you've kind of got the kind of the action scenes and it's all kind of, uh, you know, people are just screaming and shouting and that kind of thing. But when you actually have scenes of the quieter scenes, especially in the kind of the first half of this movie, where you just have sort of conversations and you kind of get into the characters, things like that, it kind of, it, is, it's, it just sounds really, really awful. It doesn't help that some of these wigs, I have to say, aren't particularly good either, but that's really only a small point. But apart from that, I, I actually think it's, um, it's pretty decent for a kind of TV miniseries. So if you are a kind of fan of these kind of, um, especially these Italian productions of what I've seen a couple of, they tend to be really reasonably good. Uh, you know, if you like your kind of historical epics, like, you know, sort of Rome, that kind of thing, Spartacus, this is kind of, okay, it comes across as a bit more cheesy because of the dialogue, I have to say, but it's worth watching. Um, just bear, bear in mind, if you're kind of watching this particular release, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be the whole story. I, I'm sure there probably is like just a three hour version you can just watch. This one's only 96 minutes and it ain't the full movie. Uh, but I'm going to give it a, a 5.5 out of 10. It's probably above average, um, but it has a few issues that I've mentioned. Have you seen it? Let me know. And have you seen the whole three hour version? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.